please remember, whether you are at school in the gym or at home, our first rule will always be to be safe as you are participating. Thank okay, you. So today we're going to start our long handled striking. Now we're going to use a hockey stick. Now a lot of you are going to say, well, coach, I don't have a hockey stick. So I bet that almost everybody has this next thing I'm going to say to use in your house. If you don't have a hockey stick, which is fine and understandable, especially in Texas, we have a broom. So, just as with a hockey stick, when we go to hold it, your dominant hand, the hand you write with, is going to go down low on the stick itself. Your non-dominant hand would stay near the top, and you would dribble, going back and forth like this. We would pass here. Now, when we're dribbling, knees bent, hand on here, you use both sides of the hockey stick as you move. with both thumbs pointing down towards the ground. You're using, we talked about using the broom. Remember what well before? Same Eight principle. Great right hand, down low, left hand, up high. So our first activity, we're getting we are going to the stick. learn how to dribble up, up, something like this. Not with the hockey stick, or with you can use chairs, or you have something smaller, and you step the dribble the around on. This works better on a tile floor, but you can do it on carpet as well. You're going to use the hockey stick or the broom to go around, to dribble around the chairs, keeping it in control. After I go around, then I'm going to go back. Now, we're going to go ahead, we'll give you one minute. If you set up four items like this, whatever they are, you can use a stuffed animal chair, you can use cones if you have them. Uh, we're now it's your turn. Create a row of items in your home and practice dribbling for the next 10 minutes or so. Have fun!